Hey guys, this is Zach Levy of TheWolverine.com, and I was on the road in Mason, Ohio for a neutral site Division I regional finals game on Friday that featured top 100 Michigan running back Matt Jordan Marshall. He finished with 26 carries for 101 yards and one touchdown in his third game back after suffering a high ankle sprain in late October, which forced him to sit out a couple of weeks. On Friday, Marshall finished with his 10th game, recording 100 yards or more this season. He's also accumulated nearly 100, 1,500 yards on the ground and 16 touchdowns. It was nice to see that the recovery has been going well for Marshall and the fact that the ankle d didn't affect his performance in the 22 to nothing shutout win. He displayed the elite traits that have made him a top 10 running back nationally and number five prospect in a hotbed like Ohio. Basically, he was methodical. He was patient. He didn't take any high-risk maneuvers. He refused to be taken down by a single tackler. He always drove his legs to pick up extra yards. He kept his head on a swivel in the open field. He waited for that home run carry and was efficient on short yardage situations. I've seen Marshall live in three games over the past year, but what made Friday different than the previous two times was his impact in the passing game. Uh, he caught five passes for 49 yards with Archbishop Muller using Marshall in a variety of ways as a receiver. Uh, you saw the team sending him out to the flats when he lined up in shotgun formation next to the quarterback, or you can see him motioning out to the slot. Uh, he showed great hands and toughness when fighting for separation or being tackled in the air while catching it. It really indicated that his attributes on offense are expanding, which not only raises his floor, once he enrolls at Michigan, but it also raises his ceiling. Um, having the tools to be a versatile threat on offense will be an essential addition for the Wolverines starting next season. Marshall is expected to enroll at Michigan in June, so he'll have the entire offseason to get the ankle back to where he wants it while enjoying his final uh, seasons of baseball and track. Once he begins summer workouts and camps, there's an opportunity for Marshall to work his way up to the depth chart and see the field more often than not as a freshman. I mean, the bell cow traits that have made Corum a superstar in Ann Arbor mirrors the promise that Marshall brings with him. Be sure to like this video and also subscribe to TheWolverine.com on YouTube for free.